Sacco, your wine guy, here at the PJP Culinary Academy, and this is it. Hello everyone, welcome back to This Is It TV here at the PJP Culinary Academy. And I have an old and good friend yes. with me, and I'm so excited that you're here. Okay, and we're gonna drink, which is very rare on this show that we get to drink, but I invited, if I was going to drink at all, I'm gonna do it with good friends. Absolutely. Absolutely, so we're gonna start with white. We're gonna talk about red for you red lovers in another segment, hang tight. But for white, we have these two that are here. Now, I'm a Pinot Grigio drinker. Right, right. But you don't have Pinot here. I do not have Pinot Grigio. Okay. I mean, obviously Pinot Grigio is a really popular. Right. Uh, to me, um, you know, I think they lack a little bit more of those character flavors that I like to see in my okay. white wine. Uh, I, I usually, I'll drink red wine 99% of the time. Okay. Uh, but when I do drink a white wine, um, obviously it's all about education. It's about yeah. fun. You know, it's like saying, I know you love that Pinot Grigio. But, yes. You know, it's like saying, you've, uh, you know, I, love, I know you love that book, but there's yeah. a lot of great books in the library. You know, Fair. I don't, you, I don't want you to keep reading the same book over and over. Oh, I love that. So, all right, so I'm going to expand my palate. So, so we'll start what Tarantes. Okay, perfect. Okay. Open that up. Tarantes is indigenous to Argentina. Okay. okay. And as, as you notice, I don't have a, a, what? a, a wine tea in my hand. I mean, so I this is the time. Is this is the kind of stuff that I love. How easy is it? Getting that? easier and quicker to my glass of wine. Okay. I love that. Now, what are you doing? So, so when you swirl around, obviously, when you swirl around, you want to, you want to aerate the wine. Okay. Uh, as the air gets in there, it folds in and kind of brings yeah. out the aromas. Now, what you did notice, I've been here, obviously, we've been talking before yeah. the shoot. So I took the white wine out of the cooler that I had uh, yes. for about 20 minutes. Okay. Um, see, oh. it's, white wine really shouldn't be drained ice cold. Oh, really? Uh, no, no, no. They call it the 2020 rule. Uh. So I like to think that, you know, you, you put your red wine in the fridge 20 minutes before you're about to drink it. Really? You take your white wine out of the fridge 20 minutes before you're about to drink it. Color? Yes. You know, we're looking at the clarity of the color here. I mean, I always say Torontes is kind of, you know, uh, like Toronto. quintessential. Uh, you know, pear, kind of straw looking. Okay. You can have green hues to it. Okay. Um, and then you just kind of want to swirl around and maybe just put your nose in there. I mean, that bouquet just hits you. You know, I mean, that's, it's like Pinot Grigio I mean, character. It is the honestly. perfect time of day to be kind of fun. The Tarantas does really well in blind tastings. It really surprises mm -hmm. everybody. Uh, you know, it's going to have just, it's got a very savory So now, that's sweet. You know, yeah. Because it's abundantly, uh, we call so good. peachy it's so apricot. Good. It's got this quintessential little kind of grass and grapefruit to it. Um, you know, but 13.9% alcohol, <laughs> it's actually pretty high for a white wine. Yeah. So again, you don't have to have that sugary, you know, hangover. To get to that happy place. Get that. To get to that happy Cheers place. To that. Cheers, I swear. Oh my God, I get to do what I love and I get to drink. This is just one, oh my Now obviously that first is going to be a shock okay. to your palate. I know I saw children have like coffee that. when she walked in. I so. did. You know I have coffee in the morning, but I, this is really, really good. I mean, pairing wise, you know, really yeah, what would light, I well, light of the pair, light of the wine. So, okay. obviously, with white wines, um, you know, some, some of the dishes, it's kind of reminiscent to me of like a summer salad. Yeah. Maybe, you know, maybe a little pungency in there. They like, yeah. have blue cheese in there. You okay. Know, remember, once you're pairing wine with food, uh, you know, usually it's based around a protein. Uh, yeah. It usually plays second fiddle to the most pungent flavor. Got it. Got it. So, so this is more of a fish or a chicken. Uh, I would think so. Yeah. yeah. Fish, summer salad, cheeses. Um, you know, again, uh, you kind of let your mind wander. And we'll just just drink it by itself. Absolutely. <laughs> just as its own meal, yeah, perhaps absolutely. after yeah. a long day. Yeah, Not that I suggest that. I'm just saying. Yeah. This is the Olivares uh, from Pumia. Uh, it's a rosé. Again. Oh, so rose. we have one again. Uh, it's rosé season. Yeah. People kind of starts. It's yeah. an official mark for yeah. rosé season here. Uh, rosés. Yeah, for someone like me who drinks red wine most of the yeah. time, it has a little bit more depth and structure that, than your normal white wine. Right. Because it does encompass uh, some of those red, those red skin tans. Yeah. So, not everything that's pink is sweet, okay? That's a, uh, again, there's a blush and then there's rosé. Okay, yeah. so white Zinfandel is considered to be a that blush. That was my next question. Sweet. Again, sugar content. Yeah. You're looking at the residual sugar, probably 9.5%, 10%. So, everything that's, that's really? pink is not sweet. That much sugar? Yeah. The flavor profile, again, we were drinking Tarantes, yes. it had those stone fruit nuances, kind of peachy apricot, you know, a little right. bit more fleshy and uh, a little bit more clarifying acidity to it, a little drier wine. So this one's going to have a little bit more of those mixed berry flavors, you know, okay. so this is really my my favorite uh, barbecue wine. Oh, up. barbecue wine? Unfortunately, you know, I come from the biggest Italian I, family. I right? know, so I know. Sweat through a snowstorm, I, okay? <laughs> I'm a greasy Italian, so I can't drink <laughs> that red wine standing outside in the heat. Right. The that sounds nose, good. But it has a little bit of, of that tannic structure. Yeah. It's almost smudged. It's not your typical white wine. 
but that's definitely different than I was thinking more of preparing my palate for like a white cinnamon. Right, right. But no, it that's has not what a this is. More of a, like like a, a tiny right. finish to it. Like, All right, I love this. This was wonderful. This was our invitation into something a little lighter, something on the white kind of family. We'll be back to talk about all things red, for sure. Are you gonna stick with me? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay, but if people wanna find out more information about what we saw here, where would they find you? Me, uh, you can find me on Facebook at yeah. Your Wine Guy. Yeah. Um, you know, so uh, I'm pretty easy to find. I just created a page, only okay. because you know I can separate that uh, I personal that. page to I knew red. that. But uh, my, in my life, I, you know, I don't put it on Facebook unless everybody can see it. Exactly, so. that's me too, that's me too. So we are following, fanning, and liking everything that he is doing. We suggest you do the same. We'll be right back with more. This is it TV from the PJP Culinary Academy. Join us at the PJP Culinary Academy as we introduce you to the region's best chefs, restaurateurs, and culinary professionals. For more information on PJP, log on to pjponline.com.